My name is Jeff. I'm a builder of custom residential passive house homes. My rating for Adobe Acrobat DC is a solid five. You can find out more about this, these ratings right down there. Adobe Acrobat is one of those programs that's been around forever, maybe longer than I have, and I've been around a long time. I haven't had, there's nothing that really came before Adobe Acrobat as a PDF reader and editor. Um, and for that reason, it is probably what you'd call the gold standard. Adobe Acrobat as the gold standard is everything you want in a PDF reader. It opens fast, it's robust, it doesn't crash. It can switch between editing, reading, uh, 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 sending out for contracts, signing it, things like that. You can do all of that without it crashing. A lot of the PDF editors out there are not very robust. Uh, Acrobat is, if anything, robust. It's simple. It's easy to get it started on. It's actually fairly advanced. So if you get into a better profile as a user and you need it for more things like financials, signing of contracts, things like that, it works. Uh, other than that, like I said, it's the gold standard. You can't beat it. Adobe Acrobat is probably one of the easiest programs of any kind that you're going to start to use. Uh, double click on any PDF and it will open up and it will go right into reading mode and click on things. It's pretty simple. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing as far as a steep learning curve in Adobe. Uh, you can, when you get into signing contracts, things like that, it seems like a natural learning curve. It's like, oh, oh, this is here. I didn't realize this is here. Oh, yeah, it works like everything else. Can't beat it. So as far as ease of use as PDF editors, I could think of a half a dozen more complicated ones. I can't think of a simpler one. Adobe Acrobat Reader comes in two forms. It comes in the online form, and it comes on the form that you buy and you put on your uh, computer. If you are using the Acrobat Reader as a new user, if you're using it uh, occasionally, I would stick with the DC. It's a subscription model. It's always updated. It's always up to date. Their, their service is pretty good. Their tech help is pretty good. If you use this thing and you have it open on your desktop all day and you need to use it when you're traveling and you need to use it on the on vacation and all of that, then you may want to buy the desktop version. It's more expensive like they used to be, but it's robust, it's simple, it's easy to use, and it's the same exact program. 